So CCP has been sold to Pearl Abyss of Black Desert Online fame. I feel like I'm experiencing stages of grief here, but I'll try to remain impartial, as impartial as it could possibly be in this case. How dare they? How dare CCP try to make money? Stick around till the end of the video for some juicy juicy memes that are coming out of this whole news. At least we can look at the memes, laugh and enjoy that bit of news. But in any case, I'm not exactly sure what to think of it personally, yet I was surprised to hear it even though the rumors have been circulating for almost two years now that CCP is looking for a buyer. I was definitely surprised by the announcement when I read it. I was more surprised by I've never heard of Pearl Abyss or Black Desert Online, so I had to do some research and dig around to see what that company and the game is all about. But before we get into my thoughts and analysis on how this will play out for EVE Online's future, let's take a look at the actual official statement from CCP and the one paragraph that is really important here. So as it stated, CCP Games will continue to operate as a wholly owned independent subsidiary and will integrate our development and publishing expertise into Pearl Abyss's operations for all current and future projects. So basically what they're saying is that CCP will remain independent under the whole umbrella of Pearl Abyss. Now time will tell whether this independence will truly remain in place as we progress through the acquisition by Pearl Abyss. But personally I don't see there's going to be many changes happening to EVE right away. Particularly because of the price tag. Pearl Abyss paid $425 million for acquisition of CCP's assets. That's quite a large sum of money that Pearl Abyss has to make from the revenue from EVE Online. And I'm sure they did their due diligence and know that making any drastic changes to the core gameplay of EVE will result in very strong pushback from the community. Of course, the biggest concern right now is that Black Desert Online, the MMO developed by Pearl Abyss, is notorious for having a very very strong pay-to-win game mechanic to it. In fact, just a recent update to Black Desert Online's western version of the game implemented a way far-reaching pay-to-win model to bring it in line with the Korean version of Black Desert Online. So here's the thing, EVE Online as a game itself is actually older than Pearl Abyss's business. So what makes these two companies, CCP and Pearl Abyss, come together? Well, well, there's several reasons. All of us know how last year CCP went through massive layoffs, uh, particularly because investors got really unhappy with the performance of the VR department of CCP. Even though they produced top-notch AAA games like EVE Valkyrie and Spark and Gunjack on, on VR Mobile, the revenue just wasn't there because the market for the headsets was still in its infancy, so, so to speak. And investors did not really want to go long-term on their investment. So that led to the shutdown of all VR game development within CCP, including few offices worldwide. The investors were really antsy to get their returns back. We also know that CCP CCP's foray into the Chinese market did not work out so well. But with that in mind, CCP has been aggressive into expanding into the Asian market both on mobile games and through MMOs. I believe it was at this year's FanFest that Helmo showed off the mobile game that's going to be launching sometime soon, primarily because mobile games are very very popular in Asia. And of course, last but not least, CCP Games by itself as both developer and publisher has lasted for 20 years. By this time, most private companies either go for the IPO, the initial public offering, get bought out by somebody bigger or kind of collapse and go away. I'm really not sure if an IPO was in the cards for CCP, so being bought out was the next best thing that was going to happen to them. There have been many attempts to expand beyond EVE Online, particularly with the failed MMO of World of Darkness, um, Dust 514 that was shut down, and now there are a few more projects on the back burner that I'm going to talk about a bit later but none have had the success of EVE Online. So with this acquisition, EVE Online and CCP Games are throwing a bit of a lifeline to continue with EVE Online development. And I believe major part of it is the fact that CCP does want to expand aggressively into the Asian market. I am sure with this move there's going to be a lot of new players coming in, as Pearl Abyss has very good expertise selling to the Korean, Chinese and Japanese markets. Now whether this independence from Pearl Abyss will really stick and be maintained for years to come, I'm not sure, I don't know. I'm hopeful that it will remain in place, but time will tell, that's all I can say. As for what does Pearl Abyss get from acquiring EVE Online, my opinion is that they want to revamp Black Desert Online to be able to have big battles just like we have in EVE Online. 
where thousands of players battle against the other thousand. There is no other MMO out there that does large online battles as well as EVE Online. Even though we do complain about tie-dye, there's simply no other game on the market that can actually do a similar thing. And furthermore, I think Pearl Abyss will be able to benefit from CCP's expertise in publishing to the Western markets. Now once again, I'm sure both the expertise and the IP from CCP are not really worth 425 million that Pearl Abyss paid for them. That's why the more I think about it, the more I realize that I don't think any major change will happen to EVE Online, at least I hope, fingers crossed, that the sort of stuff they have in Black Desert Online in terms of pay to win will not cross over to EVE Online. So EVE Online aside, where does that leave other CCP's games like War of Ascension and Project Nova? Interesting thing about War of Ascension is that it is a mobile game and Pearl Abyss made a lot of money during the past year actually selling Black Desert mobile game. I think this is where the other part of the reason for the acquisition comes in, in the fact that CCP really wants War of Ascension to succeed, and Pearl Abyss can use their expertise and make War of Ascension a breakout mobile hit. As for Project Nova, this game is in really early development, so I'm pretty sure Pearl Abyss will be dictating a lot more terms. Now personally, like I said, I'm not sure what to make of it yet. Um, it's quite sad that CCP is being sold to another company, because I don't think the independence will hold. I, I really don't think, maybe 5 years or so, I mean 5 years is a good good run, but I'm pretty sure if I was Pearl Abyss and I was purchasing something for $425 million and saying, yeah, you guys be independent, I think I'll still be exerting at least some influence, at least in the way of expertise, if you know what I mean. I also don't think that EVE Online will change that much, um, and that's the part that kind of worries me. I think either EVE Online will stay the same without much change, which is not that good, or it will be changed to something that we might not like anymore. At least it's not going to be the EVE Online that we knew and got used to and loved to play. But hopefully that's just me coming to terms with the fact that EVE Online is not going to be managed by CCP alone anymore, and hopefully everything will work out. Hey, maybe we get to have a fan fest in Seoul out of this. That'd be pretty cool. Eve Seoul. <laughs> also hoping that maybe perhaps they're gonna bring in Karnam back. It's my personal favorite expansion of EVE Online that never was because of the very vocal community outcry. I mean, I would love to have Walking in Stations back. You know, maybe that's what's gonna bring it back. I don't know. Time will tell. I'm trying to maintain this very cautious optimism for the future. I'm not talking about short term, I'm talking about long term future of EVE Online. Like I said, short term, I don't think anything will differ. But the community reaction was very swift, very severe, but the memes, the memes, mwah, this, this is the part where I really love Reddit to come there for the, these awesome, awesome memes out there. At the time of me recording the video, the AMA on the official EVE Online forums has not happened yet. I don't think there's going to be any additional information that is extremely valuable at this point in time. I believe it's going to be more of a PR control to build up excitement about acquisition, even though I don't think anybody's really excited about that in terms of EVE Online players. So this AMA is probably going to be more about dousing fires than really introducing pertinent new information. Because everything actually we need to know, we already kind of know. It'll be curious to find out what's going to happen with the War of Ascension and Project Nova and any other potential games the CCP might have been working on. Whether that IP will still be developed in-house or whether only EVE Online will, will remain being developed in-house. I guess we'll find out at the AMA. But the deal is done, it is going to happen on October 12th, it's going to be finalized at that point in time. I'll still be playing EVE and streaming EVE and making videos for this game as I usually do. But hey, if EVE is dying, we're going to ride together into the sunset, and if not, we're going to enjoy the ride anyways. I am curious, as, as usual, I am curious to hear your opinion on this. Please comment with what you think is going to happen to EVE and how this acquisition will go, and what it really means for the short-term and long-term future of, of this game. I'm Reload, and I'll see you in my next video. How dare they? How dare CCP try to make money?